What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here and in this video I'm going to tell you how to buy silver and gold under spot. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. If you would like to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so how to buy gold and silver under spot. Uh, I'm going to give you three power tips in this video on actually how to do it. And also, I'm going to give you 10 places to look for it. So this is going to be uh, basically all of the information that I know on how to get gold and silver under spot. I've actually personally done it four times. And this is one of those times. So we're going to unbox this. I'll show you what I got, explain to you exactly how I bought this under spot. And we're going to get to the tips and all that good stuff. So right off the bat, uh, I just want to say, if you want to buy cheap gold and cheap silver uh well <laughs> you're not going to be able to do it from an online dealer all right online bullion dealers are trying to make money occasionally you can find spot deals but honestly for the most part under spot deals those are non-existent in the online realm a lot of good padding in there Let's see if we can get this bullion out though show me the good stuff all right we got one eagle we got ooh, we got some gold there's some stuff in here. Come on. There's a Morgan dollar. I know there's more than that in there. There we go. Now we're talking. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, got a nice little assortment of stuff here. This was a uh, private party purchase that I recently made. And all of this was picked up under spot. That's right. So, uh, we do got a 10-ounce bar here pretty sweet it's the sunshine minting and uh oh it's got the si so let me go grab my card and we'll test this make sure it's legit you can see the sunshine right there and then if we turn this sideways you can see the valid so there you go we know this bar is 100 percent legit and uh actually i took the liberty of taking everything out uh laying it all out and i even tested all the other silver so i know it's all legit uh, real quick, I'll just show you what I got. So we got uh, 13 American Silver Eagles. These are all random date. This one is a uh, 2013. There you go. And uh, those are all legit. Did get one of the older style Libertas from Mexico. Absolutely gorgeous, 1982. Uh, this is a common date peace dollar. Nothing super special about that. We do have a Morgan dollar. Uh, 1886 that's a Philadelphia mint uh, let's see we got half dollars so we got Kennedy's those are 60 1964 we got Benji's Walker's uh, barber half dollar and then for quarters we got a barber quarter a couple Canadian quarters uh, five standing Liberty quarters tuba Washington's that's 40 in there uh, then for let's see dimes we got four barber dimes a tube of Roosevelt dimes and 21 mercury dimes and then for gold what do we got for gold we have the dos pesos pretty sweet little gold coin actually first one of these i've owned so that's pretty cool and then i also got the proof half sovereign uh, from 1983 look at that smoker <laughs> That is gorgeous. And that's, I think, 0. 0.1177 in gold. Uh, so there you go. And all of this, of course, was picked up under spot. So how did I pick this up under spot? Well, this was actually a private party deal I got from someone who approached me off of Instagram. Uh, so the gold was just a hair under spot and the silver was all right around $17 per ounce so that makes the uh, junk silver a little over 12 times face value and then the eagles uh, 17 bucks a piece that's a smoking deal on eagles also the uh, older libertad for 17 bucks wow uh, smoking deal and then the 10 ounce bar as well so uh yeah i got it from a guy who was a motivated seller and uh he needed the cash and uh so we came up with a, an offer and it worked for both of us and uh that's how it all worked out for me so let's start with the 
three tips for buying gold and silver under spot. Number one, only look for private party sales. You will not find any under spot deals online. Occasionally you can find some spot deals. I know a lot of the online bullion dealers had spot deals, but they rescinded all of those uh, in February or whenever the crash happened. And uh, so yeah, those have been gone for a while. I know Atmex had some gold, uh, silver, platinum spot deals on Black Friday last year, but those sold out within like five minutes. Uh, their door buster sales or whatever. And so, yeah, the online spot deals pretty much all dried up now. Um, and so that from the online bullion dealers. So you will not find any from them. Do not even try. I mean, you can look, but you won't find anything. Trust me. Uh, and so you're going to have to buy private party. Uh, and when I say private party, I mean from an individual. So that leads me to tip number two. You need to find a motivated seller. So when you're buying private party, there's a few things. Uh, number one, some people who are selling gold and silver online are trying to scam you. They're trying to sell fake gold, fake silver. Uh, there's lots of things you can do to protect yourself when buying private party. Ask for photos, ask for exactly what all they have that they're selling. Uh, even have today's paper in the photo, you know, make sure it's not an old photo or something like that. Um, these are some steps you can take uh, when you pay them. If you're buying from someone online, private party, uh, use a payment method uh, that has buyer protection, such as PayPal goods and services or something like that, uh, so that you have some protection at least uh, in case they are trying to scam you. Um, yeah, so those are a couple tips, just safety tips. Obviously, test everything, test all the silver and gold, make sure it's legit, do the magnet test, weigh it, stuff like that. Uh, so you make sure you're not getting scammed. Uh, but when you're looking for motivated sellers online, the other thing you need to know is some people are trying to make money, right? They're buying silver and gold with the intent to flip it and sell it for profit. And so these people, yeah, I mean, they're posting stuff on uh, Instagram, let go eBay, all, you know, every website basically. But a lot of them, they're, they're not even offering under spot or spot deals. It's way over spot, heavy premiums. Uh, they might even be trying to take advantage of people who don't really know how much they're paying. Right. So someone could be saying, Hey, I'm selling American silver Eagles and I'm only charging 30 bucks an Eagle. Right. And perhaps people don't know what the price of an American silver Eagle is. Uh, it's possible that they either, uh, you know, they look at Amex, they're like, wow, Amex is selling Eagles for 31 bucks. This guy's selling Eagles for uh, 30 bucks, so maybe it's a good deal, right? So, yeah, a lot of sellers online are not trying to give out those killer deals, but if you find a motivated seller, someone who's uh, needs the cash, then that's where you're going to be able to capitalize on a spot or even under spot deal. Um, and so, my third tip is be the coin shop. Uh, so when you go into a coin shop to sell, a lot of times they'll offer you spot for whatever you're trying to sell, or depending on what it is, maybe even under spot. For example, like these silver Canadian quarters or 80%, maybe they don't sell these that often. Maybe they're going to have a hard time unloading these. And so maybe they would offer you under spot for something like that, right? So the moral of the story is if someone is going to get spot or under spot from a coin shop, there's no reason why they couldn't sell it to you for the same price. Uh, even maybe higher. Like there was one gentleman who I bought some gold and silver off of. This was a while back now, uh, but I got it under spot. Uh, his local coin shop, it was the only one within like 100 miles, and they were offering him way under spot for everything. It was basically a pawn shop, uh, just ridiculous prices, right? And so he actually got a better deal selling to me versus selling to his coin shop, and I was still was able to buy everything under spot. So you got to find the motivated sellers. You got to be the coin shop. Uh, and so with being the coin shop, sometimes you're going to have to have a little bit of an online presence, right? There's, there's two options. One, you can have an online presence and people will come to you trying to sell gold and silver. Um, you know, me personally, I've got my YouTube channel. I've also got a pretty big presence on Instagram, almost 7,000 followers. 
Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, quick little plug, uh, definitely do so. Silver Dragons 47. Uh, once I hit 7K, I'll be doing a giveaway on Instagram. But be that as it may, uh, you, maybe you don't have a large presence online. So you're going to have to look for these motivated sellers. And uh, that's where my 10 places to look come in handy. So here is 10 places that you can go and look for motivated sellers to try and find these killer deals. Um, number one is going to be forums. Like, for instance, the Silver Forum. Uh, great place to find spot deals. I know there was a bunch posted there recently. Uh, number two is Instagram. Three out of my four spot deals or under spot deals that I've done have all been off of Instagram. So it's all about following people, uh, finding people who are trying to sell. There's a lot of people selling on Instagram. Uh, some of them are have crazy prices. Some of them have reasonable prices. Uh, but, you know, people can direct message each other on Instagram. And so if someone messages you and says they have stuff to sell, that could be a lead there. Uh, number three is Facebook. Now, I'm not on Facebook. Uh, I haven't been since, I don't know, I was a teenager. Um, and so I don't really know the Facebook communities, but I know there are some. I'm sure someone will post a comment down below with a, a Facebook community or two that you could join and try and find some good deals. Um, number four is Reddit. I've been on Reddit a little bit. Uh, I know the Silver Bugs Reddit is pretty popular. There's a lot of people uh, selling stuff and buying stuff on there. There's also like a gold and silver for sale Reddit page, um, or I think it's PMs for sale, precious metals. So maybe check that one out as well. I know there's been some good deals on there. Uh, number five is YouTube. I personally have actually bought silver at spot from people off of YouTube. So it's definitely worth it to make a channel, interact with other people. Obviously, the more people you interact with, the more chances you're going to have to find good deals. Um, number six is eBay. Uh, especially with using eBay bucks, uh, you can find some really good deals on eBay. Uh, but obviously, be careful. Uh, there are people selling fakes on eBay. I have seen a lot of them. Uh, so watch out for those. Number seven is Etsy. Now, Etsy can be a little harder to find good deals on, but there are people who don't know what they have and they're selling it at too low of a price. So you're definitely gonna have to look for new listings, try and get them right when they pop up, otherwise someone else will snag them. Uh, but that definitely is a place to look. Number eight is OfferUp. Now, I'm not the master of finding deals on OfferUp, uh, but I know Talking Bullion has found some deals there. There also are other YouTubers who have found really killer deals on precious metals on OfferUp. So it's another place to look. It's basically an app where people just sell stuff. Uh, number nine, very similar, is Let Go. I know a lot of people are selling precious metals on Let Go, and you can find some really good deals there as well. So definitely check that one out. I believe that's an app as well. And then number 10, good old Craigslist. Uh, you can't go wrong, right? I mean, obviously you can go wrong. There are people trying to scam you, et cetera, et cetera. But it's another place to look. Again, we're looking for private party motivated sellers. So if you wanted to sell your gold or silver uh, private party, where would you try and sell it? Think about that. Uh, so what other online places are there? Uh, and so to wrap up this video, I basically just wanted to say that buying gold and silver at spot or under spot is extremely hard right now. It's not going to be easy. I wish I could just give you a link to a website that was like, hey, here's all the silver and gold you want for under spot. Uh, but if there was a website like that that existed, I can almost guarantee it would all be fake stuff. Uh, so you're definitely going to have to do some work if you want to buy it cheap. Uh, and again, having a large online presence really helps. Um, and so if, if that's not you, if you don't want to make a Instagram or a YouTube channel and interact with everyone and, and build your online presence, then you're going to have to go look in for the deals. So definitely try let go offer up Craigslist, uh, Reddit, stuff like that. Try and find motivated sellers and that's how you'll be able to score a good deal. So anyway, is there anything I missed on buying gold and silver under spot? If you have information that I don't have feel free. Leave a comment down below. I love to hear from you all. Have you bought gold or silver under spot? Who did you buy it from? Where did you buy it? Uh, tell us your honey hole. We want to know. 
Uh, so anyway, that's all the information that I have. I hope it could be helpful to someone out there. I want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.